looking through the lens Opinions of three friends Looking through the lens Sometimes they don't make sense Welcome back everyone to another episode of Through the Lens Today we are reviewing the 2021 movie Resident Evil uh what what's the full name welcome to raccoon welcome city. to raccoon city resident evil welcome to raccoon city rated r or routed i i i was gonna say that and then i wasn't gonna say that and then you said mm. it so it was fine all right uh directed by what where's his name wait what the fuck Johannes There you go. Roberts. Johannes Roberts. Written by Johannes Roberts. And uh, stars. Hey, yes. Godelario. Robbie Amell. Hannah John Cameron. Tom Hopper. Evan. Avon. Yogia. Jo- Yogia. Jo- oh, fucking. Donald yeah, Logan. Yeah. Neil McGill. McDonough. Nathan. Dale, this is just Crudis and a lot of other people. There's a lot of people in this movie. Quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. We will get Let into me why read you out the synopsis here. Yeah. That in 1998, the origin story explores the secrets of the mysterious Spencer Mansion and the ill-fated Raccoon City. Wow. Yes, that's right. Raccoon City. Yeah. Hmm. Based on the Resident Evil series of games, if you didn't know already. No, I don't I totally didn't mm-hmm. know about mm-hmm. that. Yeah. And specifically this movie is based around the first two games. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. What are your thoughts? I mean I think we should start by prefacing uh, like what we already know about the franchise. Because with okay. me, I know close to zero. I, I basically know nothing. Right. Well, for me, I know a bit of the lore vaguely for most of the games. So I, I recognize some of the characters. Well, I guess most of the characters here when I watch the movie, so I'm like, hey, it's the dude. Yeah. Mm, okay. But I haven't played the game, so like, I wouldn't Go really ahead. know. Okay. And I'm guessing to someone who's like diehard Resident Evil fan, it's kind of just like the the this the sort of like references in this film might be peaking at, in all places. Yeah, but I feel like if you're a fan of the games, like even with the 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 peop- the things they're referencing and the people they have in the movie, I don't think you'll be you'll like the movie. It's just like what the fuck? I, I like is this? I think that'll be the yeah. reaction. I'll be completely honest. I just watched the film and I had the same reaction I had to any film that it was just a film because I can't yeah. judge like pacing and like if anything shit. The only really shit thing I could really tell from was kind of just like how it looked but Mm -hmm. and there were some strange bits but overall i can't see the 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 big stranger so i'll leave that to you but dude pacing is just like if the movie feels slow and sluggish and if you're you're not engaged in the thing i'll be be completely honest i was doing sudoku while watching the movie so moot moot point with whether i was uh engaged or not probably it, I, it just makes if it didn't engage me enough for me to stop, stop play playing Sudoku yeah. and watch the film then probably yeah yeah we'll talk about that in a bit uh yeah. okay then <laughs> what we're we talking about first impressions yeah this was a movie uh quite, quite the movie quite quite had had a I guess story-wise, it was the uh, it was the classic Resident Evil scenario where you 
go in and they fight some funny zombie virus. Yo. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Zombies be zombies. Are any of us sad that they didn't play zombie? Zombie. A part of me is kind of sad. But technically, mm. they aren't zombies because they're just like yeah, people mutants. infected with a virus. Yeah. That, yeah. that changes your genetical structure or some shit. Something like that. Yeah. So they didn't die. Yep. Anyway, speaking of uh, dying, how was the acting in this movie? I feel like well, some of it was shit. Mm, yeah. Uh, is that a correct judgment? Well, I feel yeah. Some of, some of the some scenes feel like feel kind of ass, but at the same time, it might it might be just be part of the writing of like these characters have no character. Hmm. They're pretty bland. I am. Uh... Okay. Except for if they're yeah. like intentionally made made to be like a dick or something, they're like, oh, he's the dick one. But like mm. the the main cast is just like a, a ragtag team of people who do mm. stuff. I feel like the, in the games they have they had more character and backstory on like what what oh, their yeah, motives well, are and shit. But in this one, it's just yeah. they they they're like there. Well, to be fair, also with a game, you have much longer to. Establish yes. things rather than this one hour forty movie. Yeah, true. That that just goes to the 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 idea of like making a, a movie, trying to make two games one movie. We'll touch mm. upon that soon, but that was the acting, and it was all right. But it wasn't like spectacular. But it had some weird moments as well. Yeah. All right then, writing. We're going to talk about the things we've mentioned before, I think. Yeah, I think we will touch on the big one first then. If you want to start off oh, yeah. with that. Yeah, the thing with the, the movie trying to combine two narratives into one, I feel like that just kind of fucks up everything else. Uh, mm. Character-wise, so like they don't get enough time to flesh out the characters. On what their motives and like their backgrounds are, and if I'm not mistaken, they they cut out quite a bit from the games to this movie. Where I think uh, it wouldn't be a spoiler, but like Jill was supposed to be like a special special ex military, like special trained agent kind of person that was in Raccoon City to like. She was recruit recruited to Raccoon City, but she herself did it because she wanted to like find herself or some shit. So she had a bit of motive. Well, Chris was uh, he was there, ex military, but I don't know his story. But he was there, and okay. Wesker being well, he did a thing in this movie. I think I guess it's a spoiler, but. It's the same thing in the games, but he had more, much more motive in the games. Okay. Character-wise, there's a lot of, lot of unfleshed things. A lot of things out that yeah. just made it really bad. Then I guess now that I, because I haven't, I didn't notice it while I was watching, but now that you said it, yeah, definitely, they just didn't really have that much motive at all. Yeah, the only thing driving them was just like, oh, these people are turning into zombies, and like. Oh, oh, well, like, even before that, it's kind of like, it, we're just here. Yeah, they were there just I, cops, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and we won't go too much further with this. Uh, if we go anymore, it might be spoilers, but yeah. Yeah, well, we won't mention really really stuff as well. Yeah. yeah, so that also affected the, the pacing, especially, where they have to pack a lot of this stuff into a 1 hour 40 format. But not doing it too well, where they, they tried to do a... Because no. there's two narratives, they had to do an A, a plot, B plot thing, where they'll focus on the cast of the first game, and then also the cast of the second no. game. Right. 
and then somehow make them intertwined with each other. Yeah. In I guess oh, real time. You know, yeah. Mm. You know the the cop cast yeah, and the really and fun. Leon and what's her name? Claire. Claire. Chris's sister. Yes. Yeah. All right. I see it now, and that yep, that that's pretty zombie shit. Yeah, it just be, kind of became like a generic zombie show. Hmm. With, with I guess a bit of law, but like it's pretty vague law. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to talk about the your scary bit? Scary bit. It. It's more weird than scary, I guess. Because I guess it seemed like it was really oversaturated with jump scare attempts. Yeah. They felt like they were trying to do it all the time. Um, true, true. Uh, maybe, yeah, a little too much. Uh, timing was weird with some of the jump scares. I guess they just mm. didn't have a handle on how to make that effective. Yeah, true. That the one thing I that was like the one thing I noticed. Another thing would be like they didn't have any the any of the like the monster bosses from the game in this one. So all they fought mm. was just like normal zombie people. Yeah, kind of. There was only you like... know how in the games they have like the boss fights. Yeah, that's like the one thing I know. It's like they have multiple boss fights, but this didn't really have anything. And yeah, and like yeah. in the games, it was a lot about like exploration of the exploration and like puzzle solving, right? Uh -huh. They didn't have any of that in this. Where in they made in... like one lock picking reference. <laughs> yeah, so in the first game, they were supposed to uh, explore the mansion. The mansion the cops went into. Yeah. And in the second game, they're supposed to like they were locked in the police station. Mm -hmm. But in in this movie, they're just like there for a moment and didn't kind of nothing. There is yeah. places they went to that didn't have any much much significance. Uh, besides, like actual lore that wasn't really explored, kind of yeah. I see. Or the yeah. mansion, at least. But yeah. the police station was supposed to be like a a place where they fought zombies and monsters stuff. But I guess they did. Mm. They fought the dog. Oh, yeah. But like, that's it. Uh, I think we'll hold off on that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, guess there were, I guess there was more than two, maybe. At most three. Yeah, they didn't have they didn't have the boss fights, man. It's kind of disappointing. They really didn't. Yeah, yeah that there, was there, there was a lot of times it's just like one sort of thing. Maybe they're trying to separate the idea of the game from the film, but then I guess that's not really Resident Evil. Yeah, but true. And at the same time, they're like they're cutting out like essential bits of the game lore from yeah from the movie. So, uh, weird directing decision and writing decision, Mr. What's his name? Yeah. They don't, they don't add anything else. They just cut it out. Yeah, they that's don't the try thing. To, they don't try to separate it either. They don't try to add anything else to make it separate. It's just there. Yeah, they're not like reinventing the thing, the, the game or the lore. They're just like cutting things out. It's, it's almost like a literal half-assed reboot. They 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 they, they added is, like yeah. half of the law. Speaking of mm. us, they do swear swear a lot in this movie. Quite quite. And I think that's what makes it an R rated movie because they say fuck like fifty <laughs> times. They didn't yeah, have anything uh, else that was R rated, except for maybe blood. Uh, but like, then, then blood's fine. You, yeah, but like they didn't have any brutal like if they were when they were killing the the fucking zombies, nothing was like absolutely brutal or nothing. Well, it's it's mostly when the zombies are killing the humans, but we're not gonna go too deep into that. Yeah. But um, yeah. 
I think oh, to be fair, yeah. there was some pretty like strong and there were really, like some pretty strong violent scenes, even just yeah. okay. I'm not. I'm not saying, but uh, yeah, there's probably some stuff in there that children would not want to. You would not want children to touch at all, no I guess matter so. what. Um, but still, this. They, they say yeah the effort a lot don't they i think they're just saying it for just for the sake of it it's not like it's not adding any fucking narrative value or like emotion mm. actually yes absolutely they just they just say it there, there wasn't it's really like, any rhyme or reason to it it's like it's to, it's to uh i don't know get the kids uh riled up be like oh my god they said folk yeah I'm guessing. The does that does there a parallel in that to the games where they swear a lot in the games? I don't think they swear that much. And it's like I think it's they're not all R R eighteen games. I think they were like and some of them. I remember like mm. the character saying shit quite a bit, but like not like fuck. Cause shit is still okay in M games. Yeah. Um, I just went on Reddit to search for what if people said anything about the characters saying swear words, and then there's literally someone that went like, "I love what they did with this person in this game. He's a little what the fuck son of a bitch, and you've got this comment he makes to himself makes him gives him so much more personality." Ah, but that's for a game. I but so. it, it for, towards like some of the later games, that's definitely it's definitely something that the game industry is picking up on, like little like comments to oneself. Yeah. But then this film just takes it and goes fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, because well, if you're talking about in, talking about swearing in that sense, it's like it it has some value in that, like it has value. This one just doesn't. Yeah, they, they do it so much that it just doesn't have value anymore. Yeah, true. Yeah. That was that. So that's that. <laughs> Let's uh, talk about the, the cinematography, is that right? Yes. Yes, sir. What do you think? There wasn't really anything spectacular, was there? I remember some... Mm -hmm. Like, generally, horror movies are decently creative with the shots they use, I think. Yeah. Um, I don't remember anything too crazy though. Yeah, especially in horror movies, they would use cinematography to their advantage with like jump scares and whatnot, just like for the spooks. But this one, they, they really didn't, I feel like. Yeah. They didn't use that to their advantage. They, 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 they just kind of left it. There wasn't really anything impressive at all, to be honest. Yeah. Well, that's what we can say about the cinematography. But I do have... Uh, a nice thing to say about the the visuals, okay. uh, editing visuals, the heads, uh, nice lighting in the in the yeah. rain. Uh, I kind of like mm. that. Shots there, some shots there. Yeah, but other than that, that every, uh, everything else is kind of all right, and um, uh, until you see some of the CGI. Yep. That's where it just falls apart. <laughs> it's always the CGI with these films. Yeah, for some of the... Especially for the fleshy monsters. Or like it's not monsters, it's zombie people. It be looking kind of yuck yuck. In, not in a realistic kind of way, but in a ew way. As a, not yeah. ew way, I guess. In a cringe way. You yeah. you can put it that way. I would not say that, but I wouldn't know what else to say, it. so I'll just let you say that. <laughs> That's just the uh, cringe is the the word that came into my mind at that moment. But I said use the word cringe. <laughs> I won't object. Well, cringe in a way that it's like, damn, this bad. Yeah, it's not based. Not based, and even if they, even if that was somewhat pr practical effects and whatnot, whatnot. Once they started using full CGI for stuff, that shit was just 
disgusting. Yeah, but they had some uh, decent CGI in like some. Yeah, until some it got scenes. bad. Yeah. So like, what the hell happened, man? Yeah. They. I don't know. There's, there's like, there's definitely some like really weird fire. Yeah, definitely. Um. So that that can be an immediate put off for some for a explosions. lot of people if they know bad fire in films. Um and then when it comes to like the 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 monsters apart from the zombies, which I guess isn't spoilers if it's Resident Evil, and you've probably seen the trailers, that at at moments that weren't used for trailer shots, the those they just it this they just slacked on the CGI for them. It looked yeah. like it was half rendered or something. So that was CGI. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nice. Anyway. How's the audio and music? I feel like with a film like this, it's not hard to mess up like the audio with like the sound effects and all that. It's like yeah. I guess what little credit can be given is not really relevant in that sense. Yeah, it was mostly fine. Yeah, it's mostly fine. But it doesn't add to the score or anything that it was fine, I, I believe. Yeah. I think the big problem here, though, was some of the music at times. Such as? You, you, because you wrote down. Oh, I wrote uh, down. That oh, yeah, on, on some like parts. jump scary scenes, they kind of played it, right. played very dramatic music where it's like it was, like, it was just literally like, like the Doom soundtrack. It just, yeah, my first impression was why are they playing the Doom soundtrack right after a suspenseful scene? It's just like came out yeah. of nowhere, we got completely blindsided. Like, they what came is out this? with the, the fuddy, I don't know what you call them, fuddy. Shit, brass noises. Okay. It was like shit, brass noises combined with doom. Doom noises. Yeah, doom noises. To make it a bit dramatic, I guess. But it's like the jump scare is over, man. Stop it. Yeah, the jump scare was over, and then it's it's like, well, it's like a jump scare where you go where it has like the brass horn, like a shot, and it just yeah. sounds like once. But they then what they did was they continued it. Into like dramatic music, yeah. So that, it, that was it just kinda... didn't work. It was too out of nowhere and too not fitting. That it was just really jarring in those moments. We were yeah. both just like, "What does what the fuck is the music?" And also, to me, the audio, the music there was a bit too loud compared to the rest of the movie. Yeah, yeah. Like, you could hear what the so, character was saying. It was like that. I think it's you you would be really hard it would be really hard to find a film with anything but decent audio leveling and with obvious audio mistakes or yeah you, that be is pr a pretty hard find decision and yet making? it's right here <laughs> yeah so that's a that's a thumbs down that's a straight thumbs down from the two audio engineers here. Well, not an engineer yet, but. Well, um, I mean, okay. Amateur? Or just. Audio like aficionados. One aficionados, Fisher. there we go. Yeah. From the two people who actually like decently trained in this stuff. I can tell it's off. I, I've never seen another film that was as off as this, I think. Not to say that it was off by a lot, it was just like. In that particular scene, it was just in that particular, dry. like in that in like two scenes where they used this particular music, it was noticeable enough that I was like, "This is jarring." Might yeah. not be for the regular person. The regular person might find it's just fine, but still, it's pretty hard to find a film that makes us feel like that. True. So yeah. <laughs> Right on. I think it's time to go to the spoiler zone. Ready for some more jarring music? 
Spoilers out. Alrighty. Time starts on the screen and we'll jump straight into stuff. I will start off with a statement mm. from Johannes Roberts to Deadline Hollywood. Uh, quote, I really wanted to go back to the original first two games and recreate the terrifying visceral experience I had when I first played them, whilst at the same time telling a grounded human story about a small dying American town that feels both relatable and relevant to today's audiences. Was it relevant? I guess kind of? from what I know about like country towns and in the US and maybe Australia to a certain extent, it is kind of a re relevant issue in today's climate of dying mm. small towns, uh, lacking uh, any like investment. And basically like uh, okay, gotcha. young people are just moving out because like there are no jobs. Right. Okay. So I guess that? it's somewhat politically re relevant story-wise in the small town aspect. Okay. In terms of anything else, because I was thinking along the lines of like, not aware of spoilers, and I was thinking along the lines of like umbrella, me medicine, the oh, yeah. big company killing but, people. Uh, yeah, um, umbre umbrella corp stories. I don't think that was the the, the relatable part. Yeah, no. Nah. Um, uh, yeah, so. but I guess at the same time they didn't really explore too much. The... Yeah, there's, there's that. Yeah, that's, that's the uh, thing. Yeah, I don't think they took too. They don't. I don't think they really showed much of the the small town dying aspect. As much as as much as the no, fucking really zombie no. thing, because I guess that was I probably would have thought that if it wasn't if if it hadn't been for it not being shown at all. Basically, they like touch yeah. on it a bit for the first half of the movie and just forgot about it for the second half. Until like, yeah, the very well, end. I guess they went with the big corp taking advantage advantage of the small town thing. But actually, they could have used that narrative of a dying small town being taken advantage of a big ass pharmaceutical company to mm. really, I guess, uh, what do you call it? Reinvent the Resident Evil story. They didn't. Yeah. Yeah. I guess he wanted to be true. He wanted he to be true to the game. He does yeah, want to be true. But then there's the level of how true you want to be. And he did not really stay that true if he only did like half of the truth. Yeah, I think he wanted to stick with the game, the narratives of the game. But like, he couldn't go 100% with that. But he also wanted to do the, the small town narrative, but he couldn't go 100% with that. So that just resulted so, in like a mess. Yeah, he's, the, yeah. And I'm thinking as well that, yes, they did like half and half. Um, but it was almost a bit too literally half and half because literally first half of the film, Umbrella and shit. And then yeah. once the action kicks up, we, all, we basically don't hear about Umbrella ever again. About them stop blocking or exit from the town and them shooting people and them like trapping people because there's I, I, like to me it felt like yes even though they it was always like the town's gonna be blown up it wasn't emphasized for, for the second half of the film that umbrellas killing innocent people it was just oh and the other the thing is like up. the it, main characters kind of don't really care that much that too because they just kind of escaped without caring about the people in the town Well, mostly because they're all zombies, but yeah. yeah well, they did try to save the town, so yeah. Well, it's not really but that's just part of the game. So, if you want to have yeah. the narrative of saving a small town, you they they didn't really they didn't achieve that really. Not at all. 
All right. Yeah, that was um, it. And uh, what else did he say? Uh, he also stated, quote, After a dozen games, six live-action movies, and hundreds of pages of fan fiction, we felt compelled to return to the year 1998 to explore the secrets hidden in the walls of the Spencer Mansion and Raccoon City. Where are the secrets hidden? Where, where, where are the secets? There was like, no secrets. Aren't, is, aren't they all, like, from the game? Isn't yeah, every, like, games. major plot point from the game? Kind of. Yeah, they're all just, like... Yeah, they're, like, major... They only used major plot points from the games. As in, like, they didn't use right. any, uh, like, specific kind of side story n- nonsense or, like... They didn't really focus on, like, a thing. They just focused on the big thing that's happening. I mean, so, I'm, I'm, I'm not really co- communicating this well. well. Well, we get the idea, though. Yeah. They just didn't do anything, didn't, did they? They revealed but no they, new they secrets. Were. There was no new secret. There was yeah. nothing. Or was he just saying, guess, like, the secrets that were exposed in the game? We're just going to tell you again. Yeah, maybe. I, I, I'm, I, I'm thinking whether or not they added, like, Easter eggs. But then they're just Easter eggs. Yeah, and they're then, not exploring then... it. They're just like yeah. that. That's, that would just be showing secrets. That, yeah, and then uh, again, Easter eggs would also just be references back. There, there would that wouldn't be any secrets we didn't already know about. Yeah, even with the the cameo at the end with uh, what's the name? Like, Ada. Ada. Yeah, that may be just a thing leading up to a a, a sequel, but like as a cameo, it just like the. Uh, she was there. By the way, can I say that post credit scene gave me uh, Doctor Strange post credit scene vibes? Why? It 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 just reminded it just reminded me the the crippled man in a corner, uh, while oh. a person stands over him. Yeah. Uh, but that, that that's besides the point. Um. Yeah. Just what the. What? You say these things, you didn't do them. You saw you yeah, did no. some of them a little too literally, and even then you did them really shit. And then for other stuff, you just didn't do it real well. Or you didn't do it at all. Yeah. So the vision did, his vision did not come true. I would say so myself. Let me see when he made this statement. I would assume before the launch. Or in the making of? May the 7th. That was, that's like months. So at least probably after production. Alright. Interesting. Oh. And this might be interesting. Roberts said he wanted to give the film a darker tone. Quote, the big thing for me in this film is the tone. What I love about the games was that they were just scary, and that's a lot of what I wanted. The atmosphere is raining constantly, it's dark, it's scary. Raccoon City is a rotten character, he said. And then he says, I wanted to put it and mix it with the fun side. But this movie Especially with the narrative style of the first game. Ah. Was... This the, movie was wasn't scary, fun? and it wasn't fun. <laughs> That's the perfect way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> so what the hell, dude? What's your definition of fun? Uh, quote, uh, well, paraphrasing quote, the remake of yeah. the second game, quote, was a wonderful cinematic experience with the tone, the constant darkness, the rain, the look of the game, and I just took that and said, yes, this is the world I want to work in, Robert said. We chose the tone for the remake of the second game and made it our model for this film. Which is, I guess, that that happened. Yeah, well, I guess he, he, yeah, I the guess he got the good. tone. He got the rainy. tone, at least in the visuals of like the lighting and the rain and stuff. Yeah, but like story-wise, it, I don't think it's the same Sorry, tone. Right yeah, nah. 
Now, he also commented on the um the six Resident Evil films in the franchise, like like before it. Yeah. It's a totally separate story that is based on the roots of the game in the world of terror. I fell in love with Mila uh, Jovovich. That first film is a lot of fun, but it was a real pleasure to get the reins of a new franchise. I had never seen the horror and atmosphere of the games in the movies. What I felt when I was playing those games or watching from behind the shoulders of people playing games, I never felt it on the screen. And this was something I wanted to tell you about. Well, I haven't watched well, any of those movies. I wouldn't know. But... Me neither. Well, what I will say, Robert, it's a fucked up anyways. <laughs> yeah. If they want, if you wanted to capture, like the the feel of the game, you would have at least put a few more boss battles in there. Huh? Yeah, that was the fun. That was the fun, man. It it's, it's like I I'm guessing that's like the basic thing that he didn't get right. The game, the the elements from the game. Yeah. Also, like I I would say. If we watch the old Resident Evil movies, probably it'll probably be more fun than this. Maybe, probably. I don't know. I've never watched them. I don't even know anything about them. Are They're they just good? like cheesy two thousands movies. Ah, uh, okay. Bird okay. or I Umbrella, you. yeah. Okay. Man, I hope you're proud of your movie, Mister. Uh... Uh, that 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 Robert, you wrote here about no. fucking reflections. Yes, I will talk about that. Cause, what if the amount that Leon says fuck? Cause he said it a lot in the first no. bit of the film, and that was really oversaturated. But what if it was a progression? But what if it reflected a progression of his character going from this really nervous person to fucking I'm gonna shoot everyone guy? Maybe, Which but he bullshit. didn't shoot. He just shot. He shot like one dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is that is that is pretty true. Um, and even then, like, his like sort of transformation was kind of just like in a moment. Yes. There wasn't any real build up, really. He just sort of just went in the moment, just went, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be the nervous guy anymore. Another thing I realized is like, they mostly focused on Resident Evil 1's cast in terms of like screen time, while Leon and what's her name's character? Claire. Leon and Claire didn't get much time to really connect like they're supposed to in the in this in the game yeah that's true when they're supposed to be exploring the police station but in this one they just kind of stayed there for like five minutes and left mm. so i feel like leon and claire's characters are definitely getting undermined here absolutely yeah Going back to Leon's transformation there. Well, that's, that was kind of it. I just yeah. made up some bullshit. Deep, yeah, as in like, deep shit. his transformation didn't mean much, really. It didn't mean much. And it was like, it was too sudden. It was too like, yeah. not sure. Yeah. It, it was it just It was just because Claire said like, bit. man up pussy. And then he manned Basically, up. Basically, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Next um, up, rocket launcher. Yes, they shoot a rocket launcher. It hits the monster. The Chris is literally right next to the monster, and he just mm -hmm. gets a few bruises. What? Maybe maybe that was the video game aspect they're trying to. Yeah, get yeah, here. yep, 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 yep. Absolutely. You get hit with a rocket launcher in the game, and you, what you get like half your health bar gone. Yeah, so it, it is fine. You killed the like big bad bitch. <laughs> they, they go to the effort of showing that the rocket launcher made Chris do a backflip after he was lying down on the ground. 
and flop over, flop away. Mm -hmm. And then he just stands up after that. Like it was nothing. Like what? <laughs> it was, maybe that was the fun bit. Yep, definitely. They're, they're poking was, fun at the games with that. That was completely and utterly satire about game logic. Yeah. Fully aware. Self-aware. <laughs> I guess they and, and, and to clarify, I don't think it is, got, it is hitting, sitting on the game logic yeah. or anything like that. I think it's just stupid direction. They had a few attempted uh, com comedic scenes when they were using like licensed songs. Remember when the fucking truck? Oh yeah, yeah, unplanned? they did try that. They, yeah, when like the guy in the truck walks into the police station on fire and shit. Yeah, that one. Also, I realize now that when I look back on that scene, that scene was actually like really funny looking back at it because it was literally just this guy walks into the police station and this fucking just like rock. <laughs> and get shot. That shit's funny. That shit's funny looking back at it. it, was, it was, I guess, yeah, it was it, it was comedic. So that could definitely be made into like a YouTube poop. Yeah. YouTube yeah. parody. Just like the guy walks in and he's all like Akka Daka on fire. Hell yeah. <laughs> like that, that that was just like so perfect for the wrong reasons. Yeah. I guess they achieved one scene. Where it was comedic. <sighs> yeah. But that's the thing, the, the games weren't supposed to be comedic. Well they I guess they had exactly. some lighthearted moments. So if the if the dude was talking about the fun in the games, I don't think this was the fun in the games. But I mm. wouldn't know I haven't played the games. I'm just assuming from what I've uh gathered through years of osmosis. Informational osmosis. Apparently, Tell us in the comments below. Yes. I was going to say, apparently, um, Johannes Roberts told Screen Rant that the reboot would be super, super scary and more faithful to the games. I guess the second part's true. Cause kind of. I think the old movies were nothing... We're not related to the games at all. They just had yeah. the lower elements. This is just shit, huh? Yeah, not a fan, really. Nope, not a fan at all. The one last thing I will talk about. Mr. James Wan expressed interest in this project. He mm -hmm. was even involved with it. And then the same month, he, just, he, he said, this is in 28, December 2018. Uh, and then later he said he wasn't involved in the project anymore. And uh, said the news of his involvement was premature and instead went on to produce Mortal Kombat. Would, oh, I, I don't know what, difference it could have made could could you imagine if james one was involved in the making of this movie if he directed this movie it'll definitely be much better right i would and, love to think so we're looking at his track record i think it was in early 2017 that james one actually expressed interest that's my bad okay yeah um but yeah, still. Because yeah, it was um, James Wan was on board to produce from Greg Russo's script. Greg Russo's script was uh, started in 2017, I guess. And yeah. then I guess they got Johannes Roberts instead because I don't know, budget. I don't know. Behind the scenes drama. I don't know. They, 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 who knows? Yeah. If, uh, yeah they, they could have just made like, well, a movie about the first game, it would be like 50% better. Just by the fact this right? is like a 50 50 like, actually, movie. Actually. Yeah. Actually, though. Yeah. 
this this was just disappointing. But you know what? We got a we got a we got a shit film and that we we got we got a shit film. We can we got a shit film that we can shit on about. So I guess that's a plus side. Yeah. Not often we get to just fully shit on a film every now and then, you know. Well, I guess it was fun for the wrong reasons. Yeah, but we we had some actual objective reasoning to shit on this film. And for Other once, than, I feel like I'm yeah. actually contributing to the yeah. to the talk here. So, hey, that's cool. Alrighty then, shall we go to the verdicts? Let's do it. Right on. I'll start with myself. Welcome to the verdicts, ladies and gents. I'll be uh, starting off. So this movie is a mess trying to balance two video games into one movie while also trying to balance a supposed narrative about being spooky and about being relatable and failing in both. Uh, not fun, not scary, 3 out of 10. <laughs> Ah, uh, see, I'm I want to like balance my expectation, balance my thoughts on this between what I felt in the moment, which was really not a lot, and what yeah. I'm feeling now after having dug in, dug into it a lot, which was this film is fucking shit. Um, I think upon. Very further analysis and review upon everything we've said today. I want to give it a two. Oh, nice. A two. Yes. So, combined average of 2.5. That's a pretty low score, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's the at least still higher than Antebellum, though. No, anti with Antebellum, we gave four at the time, right? Yeah, it might have. No. Well, I think... Antebellum is is long gone beyond our benchmark. Who, who won for the worst, worst film, film in the World Wars? Oh, worst film was well, what year? The which category yes, for this year was the Aaron Hansen. What was the score for that? That was like a two e. Was it a two? I e? don't remember. There are definitely films that we scored lower than the Aaron Hansen, I believe. Yeah. Well, I definitely didn't like it. I might have given it a two. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't know. Yeah. Well, anyway. Tell us what you think about Raccoon City if you watched it. And uh, tell, if, tell us if we're, we're wrong and if this movie is actually a masterpiece in the comments below. We'll, we'll, you'll be hard fought to uh, change our minds on that. So. Best of luck to you if you if you're gonna try to go down that path. Yeah. And I guess we'll we'll wrap it up here. Like if you like, like if you dislike, comment down below. Leave a green square in the comment section down below if you if you don't agree with our takes. Leave a, green leave square. a purple square if you do agree. Do they have square emojis? I, yeah, they do. I guess they do. I never, never really noticed them. Mm. But anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.